Well, another late night harvesting. Let's get to bed so we can start all over again tomorrow. Let's get to it. Alright, so I just backed this up. So I backed up this old truck. Hopefully we don't have another El Stupido moment or Stevio moment where I uh, leave all my grain on the ground here. The goal is to put it in the auger and the auger into the bin. Looks like I backed up a little bit too far. I'm gonna pull the truck forward here a little bit. See how that looks. Yeah, well, didn't really move it that far. There we go, I think that's about right. All right, so now we need to get the harvesters ready. So we need to change them back from soybeans back into corn. So all of our soybeans are harvested. I uh, need to hook up the, the silver bullet. So I'm probably just going to leave my, uh, my McDon heads right here. Put this down on the ground. There we go. I'm actually going to hook up the other McDon here quickly and uh, put that inside the shed. So that way uh, both of them are inside the shed for the winter. Had the other one just getting washed off here. That's the way I don't have to, kind of quick there, I don't have to uh, pull it into the shed because these things are kind of hard to maneuver when you are uh, pulling them by hitch that is. And uh, thank goodness I have a big enough shed so I could just put one of these big heads right through the main door here. That's why I ended up getting one of these big sheds, because this is extremely convenient not having to uh, trailer your head every time. Alright, so I'm going to put this right here. Alright, so we got both of the headers put in there nicely for the winter. We're not going to need them again. Alright, so now I need to get the corn head on this thing here quickly. I'm going to back this up into the shed, get it changed back to corn. The last time we need to change this thing, hopefully. And then we should be ready to go. Obviously, the, the green machine is already changed. There we go. Now, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I can't fit in there now. Uh-oh, did I trap myself? All right, we'll jump in here, fix this quickly. Alright, so this thing is changed back, so now we're going to take it to the field. Start this thing back up. So we are going to the field just adjacent to us here. I'm probably just going to uh, run it across. So I'm going to just go across the bean field. I'm going to start this harvester on the far side here unfold this. I know I'm not supposed to unfold this on the go, but still have a few more fields of corn left to harvest this year. And we're off. So Timmy is supposed to be on his way, so he's going to run this again. He likes running the silver bullet, that's for sure. And that's filling up quickly. I wasn't expecting that quick. Ooh. Looks like we're getting 210 bushels per acre here. That's pretty good. A lot better than our other field. Hopefully that maintains. This field's nice and easy because it's nice and everything's straight. The field beside us is uh, clutches and that field is giant. The field would take a while harvest let's just let's just say that it'd take a long time all right so Timmy relieved us so we are going to uh, 
start this up. I'm wondering if this big grain cart will fit out this door. We're gonna try. This is kind of a small door, so it's a drive through door, not the biggest door. Start this uh, grain machine up. I'm not used to uh, saying that with a uh, case. Alright, we are. Alright, we made it past that. Now, is a grain cart going to come out? Uh oh, looks like we're gonna have to back up. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna make it now after we backed up. Watch out for the high line pull. We're gonna get this over here. So, we'll leave this right here for now. Hopefully, my wife drives this today. We will see. Alright, now we need to get the green machine. So you guys name some names of the green machine with the big old Goodyear tires on there. Uh, some of them uh, were Deerzilla, uh, the Green Bean, uh, the Godzilla, uh, what a Goliath, uh, Hawk was another one. Man, there's so many good names. I'm going to have a hard time deciding which one it's going to be. Uh, what were some more? Uh, the Green Beast, Jolly Dream Giant, uh, Megabine, the Green Giant. A uh, lot of good names. Uh, I kind of going. I kind of like Deerzilla or Hulk. There's a few names. A lot of people said the Hulk, so I don't know. I'm going to have to decide. And so many good names of, of this old beast here. Uh, Deerzilla is kind of original. I'm going to try to keep it away from uh, Beast Spine, but Deerzilla is uh, kind of a good thing. I think it's a good name, or Hulkbine, but kind of like Hulkbine the best, but it's, to me... Really, it's between Deerzilla and Hawkbine. You guys liked Hawk. I'm thinking one of them too. I don't know for sure yet, but uh, both great names. There's a lot of good names you guys named them. We will start up Hawkbine. I'm just trying out the names just to see if they stick or not. Deerzilla. So we need to go get the corn head put on this. We already changed it over. And we should be ready to go on the field. Timmy's always running the silver bullet over there. Probably should have put the trailer in a better position, easier position to uh, hook up to, that's for sure. Alright, so we got this on there. Now we just need to go to the field. Got this already greased up. Everything should be good to go. Uh-oh. Can I get through this door? Or this gate? Oh yeah, I can. Forgot. Didn't know if I could get through there or not. Alright, we gotta unfold the harvester because we parked it in the garage. We folded it up. Get that nice and unfolded. Alright, let's start this thing up. Alright, so we're going now. Looks like we're getting... 209 bushels per acre here. That's a little odd. Usually this uh, Deerzilla does better than that Gleaner over there. That yeah, has to be a wrong reading right there. So we were getting about one bushel of the acre more with the Gleaner. Don't know if that's just calibration issues or if that's uh, seeding issues, if you know what I mean. We do have a lot of corn this year, so it's uh, we might have to put some of this land back on corn on corn, which I don't like doing, but uh, I don't want this much soybeans next year. I'm uh, thinking this, my last field, I might end up chopping, even though it's kind of late. So usually you don't chop corn this dry, 
but uh, we, we missed the window. Uh, I don't really need to chop corn because I still got plenty of alfalfa on the field. Man, we are filling up quickly. I don't know if we're going to make it to the end of the field here. I do have my semi parked over here on the end, so I might just go and uh, put a load in that. So we can always put that into the grain bin later. That way... My wife is always getting a late start, so once she gets up and running, then she can take over either the grain cart or this harvester, and then uh, we can uh, get to full running ability. And we're already 80%. We're gonna make it to the end. It's crazy. We get a freaking bumper crop here. We going to make it to the end? That's the question. Oh, just barely. Barely made that right there. So I'm going to go unload on uh, our Peterbilt here. So it was just brought here late last night. Keep forgetting how long this auger here on Deerzilla is. It's just crazy how long that thing is. I mean, there's look, the truck list looks so far away to me. That's so quick. I mean, man, that thing is just unloading quick. These new harvesters nowadays, they are really efficient, extremely efficient. Put that old gleaner to shame. I mean, the gleaner has it's a few years old. It's you know a couple twenty years old right now probably uh, this is way newer of a harvester so uh, harvesters nowadays uh, all the manufacturers just every single uh, style they come out with is a little bit more efficient uh, more volume intake and everything than the last one so in the same way with uh, this harvester. So I'm going to do a little bit of the end rows here. I'm going to have to call Timmy. Tell him just to unload in that uh, Peterbilt down there. Time being. Or drive down to the green cart and unload. No one's going to come help him out. He's just sitting there like a dumbo. Can't find good help anywhere. Probably can't see him but he's right between the monitor and the mirror. Just sitting there. Guess he'll just sit there longer. Looks like this field over beside us is uh, already cultivated under. Farmers working quick here. We still have uh, half of our crops in the field. It's like old Timmy didn't go all the way to the end of the row here. What are you doing, Timmy? Like I said, can't find good help anywhere. Got a little mud there. Oh, you can do it. A little bit muddy here on the end of the field here. Not so wet in in the field, but on the ends there, it's kind of wet. This will help Timmy out in his turning ability because it's uh, not much. Just say he uh, doesn't have the best ability when it comes to uh, turn around a green harvester. He's uh, what you call a city folk, so he only harvests his, he only drives, the, basically the only time he helps out around the farm is uh, during harvest. So he likes uh, running the harvesters and everything, so he thinks it's pretty cool running the big equipment, but. Uh, he is not the best at it, let's just say that. Man, we are already at 70%. They're just running through the bushels. So we are back at 211 bushels per acre. So uh, must have just been a little down there on that end row. Yep, 
dingers keep coming off they just go off like mad in this thing I think I'm just gonna unload in the old uh, Peterbilt again I'm gonna have to ping my wife she's gonna have to get her butt in gear man I already got two loads already and you're still not around Gonna fill this old Peterbilt up by the time she gets around. Watch out, don't wanna hit that truck. I think I left my lights on on that truck. That's not good. Let me go shut these off before I run the battery down. There we go. Man, Timmy is still sitting over there. I don't know why he just doesn't go unload in the Steiger or what. Crazy. Probably playing on his phone or something. On Twitter. Getting the best freaking profile pic. Or I don't know what he's doing over there, but needs to be uh, working. Who here uses Rogue Guidance and uh, just watches mo movies while they're running the harvester? takes a little bit of talent because you definitely don't want to uh, jam your header into the ground or something like that. You probably need a uh, header flotation or I forget what they call it where it uh, basically rides the ground. You definitely need road guidance otherwise you're going to have to pay attention the whole time but uh, it's kind of nice nowadays you know technology has come so far now all we do is uh, have to be entertained by other things. Oh, I didn't open the tarp up on my old, uh, gotta open this tarp up. There we go. Fold this out. Start unloading in there. Look at that. It's so weird. This grain cart unloads with the tarp open. So thanks to Buck, he fixed that grain cart for us. Came by and fixed that weird error that we're getting. Pretty nice grain cart. Well done, in my opinion. One of my my favorite grain cart. I've always liked JM's grain cart, so it's what we used to use on the farm. We're going to get so much done, and old Timmy over there is not going to get anything done. Timmy. Timmy's still over there, sitting, waiting. He's probably still playing on his phone. Kind of worries me. I wonder if Timmy broke down. He's trying to fix something over there or something, because either that or he needs to get off his phone and get back to work. Oh well, even if he breaks down, we still, you know, we only have uh, one more field left. And some of that I plan on chopping, so probably not a huge ordeal. We are still waiting for my wife to show up, so we are uh, not being efficient, that's for sure. So keep running back, have to unload on each side of the ends of the field. I think this load should about fill that truck up. Oh no, I was wrong. Filled it up way beforehand. Had to run over here to the grain cart, put the rest of the load in because we would have never made it across the field. So the peter belts filled up, so half of it was already filled, so starting to fill up the grain cart now. It's time for my wifey to show up. So I'm gonna run over there and find out what's going on with Timmy. Hopefully he's not broke down. Unload him quickly and then uh, we'll start harvesting over here. Still waiting for my wife. Called her and she just woke up. Said she needs some Starbucks. Man, just can't find help anywhere. And the auger length on this harvester is just so much 
different than that John Deere. Well, looks like the harvester's running. I don't know if Timmy had a problem there or he's just being lazy, what the deal is. Well, looks like Timmy's going again. Man, don't know what's his problem is. We're gonna have this uh, grain cart filled up no time flat. All right, we will start running this again. All right, Timmy, you keep running over there, all right? I don't want you slacking off like usual. end of the field here so uh, yep gonna have to walk back to the grain cart oh man gonna have to walk all the way down this is going to be forever all because my wife had to have Starbucks all right let's get in this mean green machine <laughs> Timmy over there running? Probably not. I had to imagine. Yep, there's Timmy. Probably slacking off, texting somebody or something. Twittering. So we are just gonna unload backwards. Doesn't really make a difference when all we're doing they're standing still anyways. This grain cart holds a lot. It's not as big as some of the grain carts around here, but 1,300 bushels is a lot of corn, that's for sure. All right, now we need to go over here on old Timmy so he gets back to work. So we are maxed out. Got this thing hopping full back there. Uh, we are going to take it and unfill it quickly and then run it back. We're st I'm still waiting on my wife to show up. Hey, Timmy, missed the little uh, corn stalks there. Uh, we are just uh, hauling it back to the farmyard. Uh, so we aren't being efficient today, let's just say that. So it's, it's not really working out this morning, that's for sure. It's the only thing bad about this uh, auger to me is... Uh, needs to be a little bit longer of an auger on a motor just my opinion so I think that thing it would really benefit and two I had to lean way back I like the grain carts that have the long auger so you just have to uh, turn your head just slightly but that's just me complaining a little bit but otherwise this uh, grain carts awesome all right, start this up. I'm gonna unload this. Feels like I'm doing everything here. I'm gonna have to teach Timmy how to do this. Open this back gate a little bit. On fill. Unload this quickly. Bad thing about that is you can't really stop it. There isn't no like uh, slow speed for it, so you kind of have to shut it on and off. Alright, so that's unloaded, so let's get this uh, hopper tank, basically all it is, back to the field so we can start harvesting again. And I'll just run that down here and uh, get into uh, the hulk vine again, or deerzilla. Trying to see which one which one sticks. And already at 50%. Hopefully I can make it back to uh, 
our stagger. I don't think I will, but maybe. Thinking maybe that that alfalfa over there that I still have left in the field, I might just end up chopping that and end up harvesting the other field. Man, already at 80%? Crazy. So all I do is fill up. Thinking about probably putting a bigger hopper on a deerzilla or hawk vine here. Just to get, have a little bit more uh, grain tank in the field. So right now we do have a grain extension, but if you see it's kind of, it just basically gives you about the factory uh, uh, bushels, just not a collapsible. But it still holds a pretty good amount, but it's only 300 bushels. And we are full. Heading down, uh, looks like we just have one more pass on the outskirts of this field here. So one thing I've heard from other farmers around here is uh, been noticing a lot of sinkholes around this area lately. I, I haven't seen any here, but uh, definitely have to keep on the lookout. People like, you know, Timmy over there probably uh, I'm a little worried about when they're driving through the field. Make sure they don't accidentally uh, run across a sinkhole. Sometimes it, you just can't see it. Uh, sometimes it uh, basically sinks when the, the weight of the grain cart, tractor, or uh, harvester comes around on it. You just never know. Alright. Oh, I'm getting a call from the wife. Oh, oh shoot! Oh. oh man, I was distracted, got called by the wife, and now, oh, man. Oh man, it's like I fell into a sinkhole here. Ooh, man. I think I might be resting on the... I think I might be resting on the head here. Oh man, that's, uh Whew. Man, I hope I didn't hurt anything on this harvester. It doesn't help that I'm almost a full tank. Mm. Looks like this side of the harvester's still on land, but man, then the, just the ground disappeared on me here. Oh man, I, I don't know how to pull this out because I'm resting on the header. I don't know if I can disconnect the head. That might be kind of hard to jam it loose. And then uh, hopefully pull the harvester back. Probably, oh man, I don't I don't know if I can possibly unload. Problem is, is maybe I should put the auger out and see how high I'm still in because I don't know if I'll have enough uh, height to get uh, over the grain cart. Alright, so I ran over here to the grain cart. I want to take some of that weight off of the harvester. I don't know if I can. Man, you can just tell from this distance. That thing is at an angle. Oh, that head. Heads all the way to the side. Oh, man. Alright, so I'm going to run back here, try to get a chain. I think I might try to get the 84 and try to pull it back. Hopefully... Hopefully I have my chain around here. Go get it, throw it in the bucket. All right, so I got a chain in the bucket. We'll start this thing up. Hopefully this has enough gajonas to pull out uh, the hulk vine. Don't know. I don't know how I should approach this. Should I unhitch the head? and then try it or should I try to unload it taking the chance that that uh, that is the question should I take the chance and uh, try to unhitch the head because I don't know how I'm going to get that head uh, out of there I don't know how I'd get the head moved if I unhitch it also uh, 
how am I going to accomplish? This is going to be difficult. I think I probably need the service truck and help me, uh, because if, even if I get that head off, it's going to be jam, sort of, so I'm going to have to really be careful with it. So we'll get this backed up here. Alright, so the chain is attached. Now the question is, how am I going to go about this? Man, this is going to be difficult here. Still don't even know if I can back up that uh, the grain cart or not. We'll have to see. I'm going to go over here and uh, get my service truck just in case. I need to get some tools from it anyways, so we'll bring that over here. Alright, I think I parked the, the Chevy a little bit too close here, but I am going to try to back this grain cart up so I can unload this uh, harvester before I pull it out. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to, so I'm going to see how much weight's on the head then after that. So it looks like I got enough to clear it right there. So we're going to back it up. All right, wow, just barely clears right there. You can tell it's clearing, but not by much. But we are getting it unloaded. So I'll take a lot of the weight off of this harvester. All right. I'm gonna fold in the, the auger here just so the weight isn't to the side of the harvester, especially being it's down on this side. All right, oh man. I pulled up the stock stompers there so they won't get broken off. I'm going to slowly try to pull it back here. Try to get it out of there. And slowly try to pull this thing out. Oh, wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, we are spinning with all tires here. Alright, oh. All right, all right. Looks like we might be in the clear here. So it looks like we are on the last row here. We only have maybe an up and down from Timmy and my wife. But thank y'all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.